hi guys welcome back so today's vampy makeup is going to be done with the Too Faced chocolate bar bonbons palette thanks for ipsy for sending this out to me this palette will be released december 8th so now i'm going to start priming my eyes i want to make sure that my eyeshadow lasts for this vampy look i've been wanting to do this makeup tutorial for a while right now so i'm finally getting to it now so i'm just priming my eyes with this and normally i use this for my face and then i'm using scandal eyes this is a eyeshadow crayon pencil here and i love this um i also like wearing this pencil on my lips it does great for a matte brown look on the lips so I'm just using this for a base as well to prep the eyes so I'm just gonna make sure I blend this out to get ready for the next eyeshadow and um, I forget which one this is called I'll link everything down below but this reddish brown color I'm putting it in the crease to kind of help everything transition up towards the eyebrow and like I stated before, I like to have a extra blending brush on the side. So I like to blend between each eyeshadow that I apply. So next I'm using this mocha brown here. And this is going to help everything transition very well towards the eyebrow bone. And then next I'm using this mauve-ish type of brown color. And I'm patting that on the eyelids as well. So make sure you blend in between each eyeshadow. Next I'm using Makeup Geeks corrupt on the outer corners of the eye so of course this eye look is gonna be vampy but not too vampy and you know I try to say that for the lips but I definitely want to add some type of dimension to the eye and so take the black eyeshadow as well and apply it to the upper eyelash lid there so you really want to smoke this out make it look sultry you know this is a smoky eye look of course I love smoky eyes but I've been really wanting to do this tutorial for some time now and I'm just like I'm gonna do this tutorial so Make sure you smudge it out at the eyelash line and also I like to reapply the plumish brown color that I put on the lid as well. And just like I said before, make sure you blend in between your eye colors. And so it's time for the face. I'm priming the face. So look guys, look, my skin is going through some right now. I had to go back to my esthetician. She's trying to get me back right. So my skin was peeling. So I hope everything <laughs> looks right in the camera view here. So yeah, go ahead and prime the face and make sure your makeup stays put. And I got this LA CoverGirl. It's an orange concealer. I found this at my local beauty supply store. So I had to use this for helping with the blemishes and the hyperpigmentation here. And I dumped my sponge and I went on and blent this out as well. And I feel like it weighs. You be arguing and fighting almost every day. And the people say you're playing it. I'm using my favorite drugstore foundation at the time, uh, Maybelline. Applying this to the face and then I will use a sponge to kind of blend that out. I didn't want to use any brushes to apply foundation because I did get a chemical peel done. You have to be, you know, kind of cautious with that. So I didn't want to do anything that seems like it was exfoliating the skin because my skin is in a sensitive state right now. So I'm using my sponge to pat my foundation in. And then next I'm using this black opal concealer here. Uh, like I said, I'll link everything down below. So I'm going to use this for a highlight. gently pressing it into my skin and I will lightly dust 
the MAC mineralizing powder over my face and then I will dust the extra uh, banana powder off my face. So I'm gently doing this. I just sped this up but I am gently doing this. So right now I'm doing a little light contouring here. So I'm just going to contour the face. It's like I'm wasting time. I need some space. I need a little time to run away. You're the one I need and in my life still do. And then that reddish brown color there, I also put this on the lower lids. I'm going to line my lower lids with a black pencil to really make this look look smoky. So make sure you just blend and smudge them colors. So I use these two colors here to create my highlight. These colors are so gorgeous. They are so pretty. So um, yeah, I can't wait to use these colors for eye looks here. So. Just go and go in a And now I'm taking this brown pencil um, and I'm filling in my eyebrows where I feel like they need to be filled in. This time I didn't do the concealer trick here. I just kind of want the eyebrows to look really natural. I didn't want to look really sculpted in the face. Well, at least at the eyebrows. I kind of want the eyebrows to look natural. And really want all the attention to be at the eyes and the lips. So I'm just applying those two highlight colors that I use to highlight at the eyebrow bone there. Next, I'm using this mascara from Essence. I got this mascara from Generation Ipsy back in October in a gift bag that they gave me. Um, I believe it had like a purple tint to it, but anyhow, I like to pair it up with the L'Oreal Power Volume 24 Hour Mascara. I don't know, it just do something for my eyelashes. Give them volume, give them length. I just love it. And then next, I'm using ColourPop Guess on the lips to complete this vampy makeup look. So, this is the completed look. If you like this look, go ahead and thumbs up. Don't forget to share and if you hadn't already subscribed please subscribe all right guys just complete the tutorial until next time bye see i met you at a friend's house back then it worked out but see the thing